where should an increase in educational funding come from? All right, that's a really good question. She asked where an increase in educational funding uh, should come from, guys. And, and one thing you'll hear from the uh, other side, you'll hear all the time, is how you know we give 50% of our budget goes to education. No, 50% after you put about $140 million up in different things goes to your education, not 50% of your total budget. Um, guys, it's pretty simple. We talked about tax credits. We need to look at some tax credits. We need to look at who we're giving free rides. We need to quit the cuts. The cuts to the top one to three percent, they're not working. Uh, the, the, uh, the leadership up there, their, their platform is cut to prosperity. The only people just prospering from that is old men and the top 1%. We've got to look into that. I do think education is one of the most important things. When you talk about business, business needs an educated workforce. When you talk about anything that drives Oklahoma, it all starts with education. You've got to be good in education. And I think looking at tax credits, uh, is the first way. I, they, they, they did a good thing with some of the, did I ignore that? Okay, I'm almost done anyways. There's some things we can do. I like the direction they did with the Amazon deal and, and there's some tax credits and things like that we can look into and if there's a group of us that, you know, if we get elected, we will follow suit with the eliminating some tax credits to get more money. And it's not just education guys, it's core services. Our commissioners need it. Our hospitals. I do not want to lose our hospital. We've lost four hospitals in the last month. Uh, our uh, Mr. Carter's losing money every year at the hospital. Guys, it is very important to have core services right here. It's very, very important. And uh, that's something with tax credits and stuff that I will fight for. Uh, thank you.